This is called the C sign. When you press into the front of the hip over the painful spot, it actually offers some temporary relief whilst you're pressing. So pain at this point and temporary relief when you press it is the first test known as the C sign because of the shape of your hand whilst you're pressing over that point. Let me show you two more tests that can be used to determine whether you have femoroacetabular impingement, otherwise known as hip impingement or FAI for short. Test number two, lie on your back, take the hip that you want to test and flex the hip by bringing the knee up over the chest. Then bring your knee over towards your opposite hip or towards your opposite shoulder, and then grab your lower leg so you can add in inward rotation through the thigh. So we have flexion across the body into adduction and pulling the lower leg out to internally rotate the leg. When you do that, it closes over the inner groin, it squashes that inner groin. So if you experience groin pain when you're doing this test, that would be a positive test. The name of this test is the FIDEA test, and you can see what that stands for on the screen here. It basically explains the movement that you need to do to perform the test. This third test is called the Dremen sign. This is usually done by a clinician, but you can try doing it for yourself. Use a towel or a strap to wrap around behind your knee. Then use your arms to pull your hip up into flexion so your knee comes up towards your chest. Make sure your leg stays relaxed and you use your arms to pull the leg. A positive Dremen sign is when the knee goes out to the side when the hip is pulled into flexion. A negative German sign or a normal hip movement would be when the hip flexes and the knee comes straight up towards the chest. So this is a positive German sign and this is a normal or negative German sign. The German sign is usually used to assess for a slipped hip, but it can also be used to help assess for femoroacetabular impingement as well. So hip impingement is usually diagnosed by identifying where the pain is, looking at the results of the clinical tests, the ones that we've just gone through in this video, and also looking for shape changes in the joint on x-ray. Now, if you'd like to learn more about femoroacetabular impingement, I have some other videos on the channel here, and also an online course, the link of which is above and also in the description below. Thanks for watching. I hope you found these tests helpful and we'll see you in the next video.